Hi, my name is Jamie Roberts, and uh, I'd like to share with you a sketchbook from 2019. Uh, this is a sketchbook that I did in the first half of 2019, um, which was about uh, January to about July. Um, the sketchbook is uh, Hem Mule, uh, that's the logo. Um, it's a German company. I'm sure I'm pronouncing the name wrong. Um, I bought this uh, at Flax in San Francisco and then I put this postcard on it. I glued this postcard down. Um, the sketchbook is about five and three quarters by uh, eight and, and a quarter. Uh, that's A5 uh, size. And what I typically do in my sketchbooks is two things. I'm an architect and I also uh, uh, paint. So I do um, architectural ideas and also watercolor, um, like urban sketching in and around uh, San Francisco. And that's the reason for the San Francisco uh, postcard. So just opening up here, um, I put number one because it's the first sketchbook of the year, uh, 2019. And then um, I love going to Phil's Coffee and getting a coffee. And so this I drew in um, egg tempera. Um, and I actually drew it on a different piece of paper and glued it down uh, to the notebook. So here is an idea that I have for an architectural form. Uh, it's basically a, like a crystalline uh, shape. Um, for a building, and because it's crystalline shape, uh, it has a lot of uh, triangles, and structurally, this would be very strong. Uh, so you could definitely build this um, out of various different materials, um, and it would be actually a very strong building uh, because everything's triangulated. Uh, and then you could add sheets of glass and solid elements. And so at first I, I took a look at it to see, you know, what would it look like vertically. Um, and then I took a, like a study just to see what it would look like, uh, these same uh, forms horizontally. And um, so as an architectural idea, it's just an idea for a form, um, not fully developed, but um, I think it gives a, it's a good idea for a, a, a project. So um, this is a sketch that I drew at the Equator uh, coffee shop in, uh, at Fort Mason. And this is the guard shack um, right outside the, the coffee shop. Um, and this is the guard shack for Fort Mason. So I was taking a look at the tile roofs and whatnot. Um, I was trying uh, this ink that was supposed to be waterproof, but on this paper, it's not waterproof. <laughs> And so it ended up smudging and making a mess. Uh, this is a very bad drawing of my camera. Um, it's kind of embarrassing how bad it is. Uh, this is an idea I had for um, uh, an architectural idea. Basically, it's just a, a flat, plain roof. Um, and this is a hillside. And so it's got a retaining wall and then a flat plane roof and then just a platform. And so you have two kind of posts holding up the roof, flat platform, um, retaining wall and flat roof. And then this is taking that same idea and developing it a little further. So here is a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom, bedroom. Um, you know, like a family room type of thing. And then you would go upstairs and there would be a balcony overlooking uh, like a two-story space here. Um, this is a pool and this is um, the, the guest, the guest housing here. And this shows uh, uh, how the, the roof would be split. You would have a lower roof and then an upper roof uh, for this two-story space. Uh, here I'm just playing around with uh, how to draw faces and uh, 
in watercolor. And first I tried uh, pen and ink, um, and then I just went to uh, pencil, and uh, pencil ended up being a little bit better. Uh, just some quick sketches. Um, here's another idea that I've been playing around with for a long time now. Um, it's basically um, a canopy to a, a gas station. And so here are the posts that you see at a gas station, and then a canopy. Um, and in this case, it's not just a flat canopy, but a um, butterfly roof canopy with a glass enclosure. And so this would be the whole building. And uh, so it'd be about 20 feet by about 40 feet. Um, and then here I'm just playing around with, if it was a glass enclosure, what, what are the mullions? What do the mullions look like? Um, here I'm looking at trying to do like a studio and a study and just a, like a small little building. I didn't really like this. I kind of thought it was stupid looking. Um, but what I ended up doing was this, which I really like. Um, this is uh, the elevation on this side. And then this is a section through the building on this side. And so it's about 20, 30 feet high uh, to, to here. And basically it's just a square box of a building uh, with a dome on top. And it's two stories. There's the first story with lots of books and then a uh, second story with more bookcases and then windows and uh, a dome. And so I, I really like this idea. It's very simple. It would make a, a great studio or art space or, you know, uh, study, <laughs> make a great study with all those books. Um, so anyway, that's, that's an idea that I really like. Um, here I was drawing in Monterey and uh, it was a very foggy uh, wet day and the water it was so wet that the watercolor wouldn't stick to the page and so you can see here where I laid down wa watercolor wash and it just wouldn't stick and so I ended up giving up on this this uh, drawing um, this is very similar. This was in San Francisco. This is at Ocean Beach, and um, this is this is Golden Gate Park over here, um, and this is Ocean Beach here. Um, and it was so foggy and wet and cold that again the the watercolor just wouldn't stick to the page. You can see it's just not sticking here. So again, I I tried for a little bit and then gave up. Uh, this is another idea, architectural idea I had, and uh, really all it was was let's create some wavy walls, uh, maybe kind of made out of paper or something. So wavy walls and then uh, like a wavy roof um, and then just put a glass box enclosure and a platform um, and that's that's the whole building and looks interesting. Um, I'm not sure if it would make a great building, but it uh, looks interesting. Here uh, is an idea. I was just playing around with um, a brush, uh, ink, inking with a brush. I haven't inked with a brush in years. I was just seeing what it would look like, and uh, it's interesting, but uh, I don't, I don't think uh, <laughs> looks that great. So here is an architectural idea that I had and this is the plan and this is the section uh, through the through the building and so basically it's um, going back to that gas station uh, canopy idea where there's a post and then a canopy uh, held up by the post and in this situation you have a platform so there'd be a steel plat steel frame platform there'd be a steel frame um, canopy and then there would be a glass enclosure. And so that's, that's, this is the plan for that. It's very simple. It's 50 feet long uh, by 20 feet long. It could be all prefabricated offsite and then built, uh, assembled onsite. Um, this is a living room. This is a dining room. This is the kitchen, two uh, bathrooms here and two bedrooms. 
and so basically you have everything that you would need in this one little space this is the glass enclosure this is the um, platform that is sitting on and then as I said again uh, here's the platform here's the glass enclosure and then here's the canopy roof so very very simple space very simple to manufacture the the foundation is very simple to do it's just posts in 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 a simple foundation um, so very very easy to do so I'm exploring the idea of doing a book um, based on my sketchbooks, uh, based on my urban sketching. And so I was going to call it San Francisco Magnificent Ruin. Um, and in the postcards, they always fill this in and put it like a picture in here. And so I was thinking about um, maybe in Photoshop or something, putting, dropping pictures in here of some of the watercolors that I did of San Francisco. Um, and it'd be like a postcard. It would be, it, this would be the front page of the book and it would look like a postcard, very similar to, to this. And so here's a second idea that I had for the typography of it. Um, again, the pictures could go in here. And then this is the third um, option I had for for typography. Obviously you couldn't get a picture in here, but but it's a, a third idea. Um, this, I did this from a photograph. I generally don't work from photographs. Uh, this is Festival Hall. Um, that was in the Panama Pacific Expedi Exposition of, uh, I think it was 1915. Um, and so this was in San Francisco. I was just playing around with seeing if I wanted to do anything from historic photographs and uh, I realized I, I, I'm really just not interested in working from photographs. Um, here's uh, a technique that I, I use a lot. I sketch something on a piece of trace and then I just glue it down into my notebook. And here um, I've been using um, not 3 by 5 cards but uh, uh, but business card sizes and this I love this paper uh, it's like business card paper and it's really good for watercolors um, and so I've been doing little thumbnail sketches on on these business cards business card paper um, it's actually it's actually these mini cards I've been using these mini cards uh, that I got from a Japanese store and uh, I love them they're they're great paper um, so anyway, I've been doing little thumbnail sketches here um, instead of in my notebooks and just, you know, when I'm sitting around doodling or something, I'll do that. Uh, and then if I really like it, I'll just stick it in my notebook. Uh, this is a failed attempt to use gouache. So what I did was I went in and um, in pen and ink and and various things. I went in and uh, laid down the ink and then I went back in with gouache and tried to, you know, color it using gouache. And um, I realized that I haven't used gouache in years and I really suck at it. And uh, anyway, it was just a failed experiment there. Just to prove that not everything you do comes out looking great in your sketchbook. Uh, this came out a little bit better. This was a uh, watercolor wash and then over that watercolor uh, wash I went in with some gouache highlights and this worked much better. Um, this is um, eucalyptus leaves um, which are um, on the Presidio of San Francisco and uh, it's a predominant tree there. Um, I thought that the eucalyptus leaves were um, like the state leaf of California, but I may be wrong. <laughs> uh, this is a sketch I did um, from Berkeley looking over at San Francisco, and it was a very foggy day. Um, so you could barely, barely see anything, but this is the new uh, Salesforce Tower that is literally twice as big as any building downtown. And it just sticks out like a sore thumb. It's uh, very depressing to see that building. 
Um, this is the floor plan to the uh, section that I drew. So it's the floor plan to this, to this sketch. And all I'm showing is that it's a square box building and uh, these are the bookcases and then it would have four doors leading out. Um, that's about it. It's uh, 25 feet wide by 25 feet and uh, very simple, simple floor plan. Uh, this is uh, called the Portals of the Past. It's in Golden Gate Park and um, it was part of the Panama Pacific Exposition in, I think from 1915 and um, they moved it to Golden Gate Park and it's been sitting by this this little lake there uh, since since then and I don't think anybody even notices this thing um, this is a view of San Francisco from uh, Alta Vista Park, which is one of the hills in San Francisco. And I was trying to draw a Sutro Tower here, and uh, then the fog came in and pretty much obscured everything. So basically, this is a, a watercolor of fog. Uh, this is, I had um, my tooth broken out. Uh, recently and I got a plaster mold of my teeth in order to build a new tooth um, and I ended up uh, just drawing the, the plaster mold um, and obviously you could tell I wasn't too happy about having my tooth broken out um, but this is this is egg tempera it's not watercolor um, and in egg tempera you can do this very um, tight cross hatching um, which is very good and you can go back in with whites and grays and stuff so um, I was really just playing around with the egg tempera medium and, and cross hatching here uh, this is a diagram uh, from from hopefully the forthcoming book that that I'm working on the magnif uh, magnificent ruin book This is um, some uh, spatial diagrams uh, that I was doing for a different video, uh, just to show uh, spa how, how to do spatial diagramming. Uh, more spatial diagramming. more spatial diagram. This is actually a diagram by Leonardo da Vinci. He was trying to diagram um, a building here. Uh, floor plan. I was trying to do a variation of this floor plan with this floor plan using using this idea. So this, this idea uh, got developed into this. And so um, I, I do this a lot where I have an idea and then I end up thinking about it and developing it further as I'm working on it. Uh, this, I think I was sitting um, by the de Young Museum and I ended up drawing Sutro Tower uh, from the de Young Museum. And it was a pretty sunny day that day, so... But, uh... And then again, this is going back to this idea. So this is the floor plan. This is what it would look like in, in elevation. More, more spatial diagramming. Um, so this is uh, a sketch I did. I, I did it on trace and then I uh, col uh, photocopied it and colored it in and then stuck it in my notebook and then this looked a little bit too dark so I ended up going with this one which looks even lighter. I'm not sure which one I like. I was putting the colors over here to play around with colors um, but maybe I should show this one. This, this shows this 
what, what, in, this color, this yellow color, is what San Francisco was originally like before development. And the, the blue color is the kind of wetlands that, that was in San Francisco. And this red color is how they filled in all of uh, this area in San Francisco. So they basically filled, this is all landfill. Um, and then they filled in all of the wetlands too. So there's no more wetlands. Um, and, and so this outline is the new outline, whereas what, the, this is the old outline. Um, and what you can see from this thing is that uh, San Francisco is, San Francisco is a very man-made. It's a very man-made place. Uh, you think it's, it looks very natural. There's all these natural features like hills and whatnot, but, but San Francisco is, is very man-made. Uh, this was a sketch I did and I didn't have time to finish it. Kicked me out of the building before I had time to finish it. Um, these are more spatial diagrams. Uh, this is a pendantive dome with oculus. Uh, more spatial diagrams. And again, there's this is from a video that I that uh, I did. And you can go on and, and take a look at that video. This is an idea that I had for a building, and basically it's kind of like, it's, it's all intention. The whole building is intention. So there is a platform and there are wires that hold the platform in place. And it's almost like a suspension bridge. Um, and so this is the, the bridge part, the suspension wires coming down, the platform is here. And then this kind of uh, skin of the building would be pulled up to almost make it look like, you know, the uh, reinforce that idea of tension. Um, and then this is the platform. It'd be 80 feet by 20 feet, the platform itself. And then it, you could put a house in here. There, you could put a living room and a kitchen and bathroom. And then there'd be a second floor uh, platform uh, that's open also. So this is a quick, quick little idea I had. Uh, again, what I did was, um, I did this on trace, uh, you can barely see it probably, um, really quickly in pen, and then I just glued it into my, my notebook. This is just a quick sketch that I did um, on trace. Um, this is Yoda. Um, Yoda um, is by Industrial Light and Magic in San Francisco. So anyway, uh, Yoda is a statue outside of uh, Industrial Light and Magic, and I drew that. And so this goes from here <laughs> all the way to here. So this is what I like about this paper. You can draw on both sides of the paper, and it's, it's exactly the same. Uh, what I did was I went out and I sketched this um, in Presidio, on the Presidio of San Francisco. And, um, and this is uh, Chrissy Field in San Francisco. This is the field itself. Uh, this is what I call Chrissy Swamp because they turned it into uh, wetlands. Um, and, and you can see San Francisco in, in the background here. And then um, this is I guess it's Chrissy Beach, but it's it's right on it's um, basically on on the Presidio, and you can see uh, um, the Bay Bridge in the background. You can see the, the Palace of Fine Arts in the background here. Um, and the reason they turned this back, so this this used to be an airfield, um, and this used to be one of the first airfields in the United States. Um, I think it was the first airfield on the West Coast. Um, and they turned this whole thing, and this was part of the Presidio and an airfield on the Presidio. Um, when this reverted back to civilian use, they went back in and, and dug this up and turned this back into 
a wetland. And the reason they did that Going back to this picture here, maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Going back to this picture here, this is this is the area here. So this this is um, uh, this is uh, Chrissy Field. Th this actually is Chrissy Field right here. And so this was uh, wetlands uh, years ago. And um, so what the what this people did was they decided oh let's turn some of this back into wetland which I think is an absolutely <laughs> stupid idea because look at this area why, why don't you just dig this up and turn this back into wetland you know it's it's ridiculous this is prime real estate that you're turning into a, a wetland um, but anyway that's 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 what they did they turned it into wetland Okay. Um, so here we are uh, with some architectural ideas. I was thinking uh, some kind of I don't know, grouping of uh, of these kind of forms, um, and then I went back to my um, uh, this idea, and I said, "What would happen if I group these forms together?" And I came up with this, and what it reminded me was of uh, the Fortress of Solitude from uh, Superman. And so <laughs> that's what it reminded me of. But if you group those together, I think it turned into a um, pretty interesting uh, uh, form of a building. And then this is what it would look like in floor plan. And again, um, I'm using these little cards uh, and drawing little thumbnail sketches on the cards. And then uh, if I like them, I just glue them into my notebook. This is actually done on Trace. I was just doing some quick sketches on Trace and this one looked interesting. So I glued it into my notebook. Um, these are taking this, this kind of idea, these kind of forms and developing it a little bit further. So here is, is uh, this form kind of uh, explored a little bit um, and then in plan. And then this is supposed to be a section, a section through the, through the building. And then um, this is looking at it horizontally like I did uh, previously. And this is looking at it from above. And then this is looking at a section through, through it. So interesting forms. Um, I'm not sure if they would make great buildings, but uh, it's interesting to take a look at and study. Um, and here I'm just kind of looking at it a little bit more. This is the floor plan. Uh, and then this is an elevation of what it might look like. And then here is a section uh, looking through, you know, kind of cut cut right here somewhere um, looking through and seeing what these forms might look like uh, from the inside um, and I, I think that they look they look really cool I don't know if it would make a great building or not but um, it's interesting uh, so this is I sketched this on site and then I inked it um, in the studio um, Again, playing around with uh, with ink, inking with a, a brush. Um, I'm not sure how good it is or whether I like it anymore. Um, but and then finally, um, this is getting towards the end of the notebook. Um, and this is from my other video that I that I just recently did about spatial design. And uh, what I did to create that video is instead of writing out a script, uh, what I did was I did thumbnail sketches uh, of the storyboard of the video. And so basically I'm storyboarding out uh, the, the video to the um, storyboard to the, to the video. Uh, so this was the first storyboard, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Um, and again, I'm, I'm using this paper, these little uh, things, um, and just gluing them in here. 
Um, I used to be, years ago, years ago, I used to be a storyboard artist. And uh, I used to, sto I storyboard, storyboarded several movies. So here I'm just storyboarding uh, videos. So if you're producing videos, uh, storyboarding I think is, is key to uh, doing a good video. Um, and then here, here's just some ideas that ended up going into my notebook, but they started off as little thumbnail sketches. So this, this uh, started off as a little thumbnail sketch and then I drew it a little bit larger in my sketchbook. This started off as a thumbnail sketch. Um, this is actually the floor plan to this. Um, and uh, this thumbnail sketch, this is a thumbnail sketch of uh, a computer um, case, actually, I was playing around with. So there you have it. Um, uh, my sketchbook from 2000, uh, 2019, first half of 2019. Um, Jamie Roberts, uh, Jamie Roberts' sketchbook from 2019, um, and some ideas, architectural ideas, and some uh, urban sketching from San Francisco. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you will click and subscribe. Thanks, bye.